Imagine this experience as you consider a proof of concept. You roll in a 5U Enterprise Cloud, you plug it in, you connect one port from our switch to your switch, and you power it on. All you need is a set of IPs from your network administrator. Typically, registering an infrastructure takes several specialists and days and months to deploy. With Ignite, you can easily log into our portal, register your infrastructure, and deploy apps in really under 12 minutes. It's really amazing, and I'm going to show you that now. For this demo, we have already created an account on our SaaS management portal. All accounts are fully secured with multi-factor authentication. The hardware for the demo includes our base 5U system. It includes a 48 by 10 gig E switch, two nodes, each with 32 cores and 128 gig of RAM, and 14T usable all flash storage. And as we discussed earlier in the presentation, you can scale all these components independent of each other. From the portal, now let's enter your service tag. A service tag uniquely identifies the switch and associates that switch with your account. Let's enter the unique IP range that you got from your network administrator. This is all you need to configure our router. Okay, now we'll save the configuration. The router is now configured with the unique range we just entered. What you see here is the physical representation of the enterprise cloud. At the top, you see the network switch. Below that, you see the node, the host assets. Below that, you see the flash pool. Now, if you highlight the ports on the switch themselves, you can see exactly where they're connected to. That one right there is connected to the WAN. That one's connected uh, to, to the management network, and so on. You can see the two blue ones there connect to the, the hosts themselves, and that's automatically detected in the system. Register the two hosts and the flash pool and put them to use. Okay, we will start with the hosts. Let's give it a host name, a password for physical access if you ever need it. We will assign a host to a migration zone. Since we are in Reston, Virginia, let's call this uh, migration zone Reston. And just think of a migration zone uh, as a physical fence around a group of hosts. It's an important aspect when defining multi-geo configurations. Now let's register the second host as well. We'll go through the same steps. Okay, the two hosts are now registered and ready for use. We will now register the flash pool. Our flash pool capacity is true usable capacity. It's not deduped capacity. Our flash pools all block and storage virtualization eliminates the overhead of, of a distributed file system, making it 5x faster than first generation hyperconverged systems. So that was it. We're all done with storage. No more SANs, no more LUNs, no more multipathing. It's all taken care of and highly optimized right out of the box. That's it. The infrastructure is set up and ready to go. Pretty simple. With other solutions, such as VMware, you need network specialists, storage specialists, VMware specialists, just to configure your infrastructure. With Ignite, a generalist can do it, and do it in minutes, so your specialists can focus on more important tasks. So you can see on this page now, everything's green and ready to go. The next step is to create a virtual data center. Virtual data centers are basically a liquid pool of resources that you can carve out from your infrastructure. Data centers can be assigned to business units. They can be assigned to customers. You can create as many as you like, and they span migration zones and geolocations. Let's create a new virtual data center for a business unit called BI for business intelligence. We will show you a Linux example for big data apps and Windows SQL as well. Let's allocate 24 cores to this data center, 98 gig of RAM, and 4T of storage. It's probably good enough to run 50 or so general purpose VMs. You can enter any amount of resources to a data center. We picked 50 VMs as a good example. By the way, we support oversubscription as well, so you can oversubscribe uh, cores and storage. It's as simple as that to slice and dice your resources. It's as easy as the public cloud. We are now ready to deploy apps, but first, let's go create a virtual network, and you can see how easy that is as well. Virtual networks abstract physical networks from logical ones, removing many levels of complexity. We made it dead simple for application owners to create their own virtual networks that operate at line rates and provide application isolation. We support three types of VNets. Let's create a private VNet first. Private VNets are available to all virtual data centers in your infrastructure. For private VNets, you need a unique range of IPs. 
We also provide microservices like DHCP, NAT, load balancers. They're all built in, so you don't have to worry about additional hardware or software. It's like a self-contained SDN package, all on one screen. We also provide software-based firewalls that are work at the VNet level. So if you specify a firewall at a VNet, any applications using that VNet will be protected by that firewall. So it's a great security feature, all built in. So that's it. We're all done with network, compute, and storage. We're all done on that. It's very simple. Now we're ready to deploy some apps. You can create applications from scratch using your own ISOs, or you can import them from VMDKs or VHDs. A quicker way is to use our templates, however. Our cloud marketplace allows you to download some common enterprise templates. This marketplace constantly is updated with new and exciting applications. As you can see, we support the, all the Windows apps, a lot of Linux-based enterprise workloads as well. Just so you know, Windows images are sysprepped without a license. So when you need them, you have to enter a license to run them, or you can start and click through and just skip the licensing component. When you download them, they're saved to your local template store. So it comes from the public cloud down to your local store. You can also create your own custom templates from any VM instance that you want. So let's start by downloading a CentOS 7 template, and we'll also download a Windows template. As you can see here, this is your local template store where all your templates are stored. Now let's have some fun and create an application instance. So let's start there, new instance. Let's give it a name. Let's specify where to run it. We're going to pick the BI business unit. For networking, we can either choose the VNet we created or use Bridge. Let's use the VNet. So now you can see the CentOS app uh, up and running. So now let's just console in and take a look. So just a note. So in under 12 minutes, we configured the infrastructure, configured storage, networks, compute, created a virtual data center, and deployed an app all in under 12 minutes. Pretty powerful. Now let's deploy a Windows app. OK, let's give it a name. Let's use the same data center. Let's use the VNet we created as well. Now you can see the Windows app up and running. Let's console in and check it out. Now you can see how easy it is to deploy apps. Let's show you how easy it is to manage them. We provide fine grain extensive stats for all the objects, including apps, migration zones, virtual data centers, hosts, and flash pools. Let's take a look at those. You can see the app view here. You can see things like vCPU memory, uh, storage utilization. You see a lot of the activity on the workloads of CPU, uh, write bandwidth, read bandwidth. And then we have a lot of storage statistics here around IOPS uh, bandwidth, also network bandwidth as well. So that's all baked in. So you have a one-point shot here where you can see everything you need to about that application have similar views for the other objects like data centers, migration zones. You can see those. Just a quick view there. You can see migration zones as well. Now migration zones just so uh, CPU and memory and that's because migration zones are as you remember are a physical abstract not a logical one. So they're just uh, showing the physical um, characteristics. So the last component here is the dashboard. That gives you a, a complete view of your entire infrastructure. So you can see things like migration zones. Uh, you can see the storage. You can see compute. You can see by virtual data center as well. And you can see like the hide items here. So if there's issues or anomalies or you're hitting some peak limits, this is the best place to go for that. It'll highlight those areas very easily for you. So pretty amazing. You have now seen how easy it is to deploy and use a super converged enterprise cloud. We think the benefits speak for themselves. So we offer multiple ways for you to see this product. You can uh, get a demo from our sales specialist. We also have a virtual lab where you can log into and reserve it for a day or two or three and download your own apps and run your own infrastructure there. And it's fully dedicated to you. 
And then third, we offer POCs where you can uh, register for a POC and we'll ship you a 5U unit in a crate with wheels. You plug it in and go through the, the cool demo that you saw today. It's as simple as that. So um, all of this was really about drastic, drastically lowering your TCO and simplifying your infrastructure. We hope this helps and we can take your questions now.